The Ren and Stimpy Show presents Stimpy's Invention is a classic 90s video game based on the even more classic 90s cartoon with the same name. Of course, the cartoon is beloved. Um, I don't know many people who don't enjoy a little Ren and Stimpy now and then, but the game, well, the game is surprisingly good. The first thing I noticed when I started playing is it has these, like, low bass trumpet sounds in the sound effects and the music. And a lot of times that's a scarlet letter for video games. A lot of really bad Genesis games have the same kind of style and sound and music. I'll give you an example, like, uh, um, the Tasmania game I reviewed or the, um, the Sylvester and Tweety game I reviewed. But, but surprisingly, this game controls and actually plays a lot better than those two. In its core, Stimpy's Invention is a short 2D platforming game. In the story, basically, uh, Stimpy invents this thing that can turn uh, garbage into food or something, but the machine explodes, and in every level there's a piece of the machine, that, well, towards the end of the level, there's a piece of this machine that you have to pick up in order to basically progress. There's not a lot of exploration, pretty much what you need to pick up will be at the end of the level. To win, you basically just go to the right. There's not a lot of thinking involved, but there are some challenges in the platforming. Ren and Stimpy both don't jump very well, so a lot of times it's gonna be hard to get past some platforms. Especially towards the end, there's this one really nerve-wracking thing I had to do where uh, bubbles are coming up from inside this test tube and you have to jump on the bubbles. Bubbles, but if you stand in one bubble for too long, it pops and you have to do, uh, you basically fall down. So you have to jump off the bubble onto a higher bubble or a lower bubble. But the jumping in the game is iffy, so you never quite make it onto another platform. So I had to try this a couple of times before I passed it. Uh, most of the rest of the game isn't this hard, but there are other hard portions. I would say overall, the game has flashes of really hard difficulty mixed in with about 70 or 80% of pretty easy gameplay. You can play as both Ren and Stimpy and they have different attacks, although uh, while the attacks uh, look aesthetically different, they pretty much do the same exact thing. For example, there's an attack that makes you jump really high while using your partner. There is an attack that makes you leap really high so you make really long jumps again while using your partner. There are also attacks where you use your partner as, I guess, a projectile weapon. You can just use regular melee attacks when your partner isn't close to you. And you can also shoot projectile weapons up into the air to hit enemies that are flying around. Aside from platforming, the game mixes it up with other types of levels, like there's a level where you're escaping from this truck on a bicycle. There are some portions of the game where you can also fly, which is cool. I like games to mix it up, and for a short 90s game like this to mix it up this much, it's pretty impressive. There's a lot of unnecessary nonsense in the levels, but the graphics are actually pretty good. One really memorable level, which I thought was just gonna be us running around outdoors in a forest, because it was called like the outdoors level or something, turned out to be a level in some kind of weird hellish nightmare. This is basically the game equivalent of the Berserk anime. Oh, everything's fine, everything's fine. We're in some kind of weird hell dimension now. Where did that come from? Like I said, the game is pretty short. I think I finished it in under an hour, but I had fun and that's what it's all about. It gets an official Stan Birdman rating of an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends. Thank <laughs> you.